how's it going? So today I'm bringing you this look that I'm wearing right now on my face. It is a fall inspired look. Since fall is on the way, it's coming. It's the end of August, we have to get ready. So this is the, my inspiration for this look is definitely 90s grunge. The colors that I used are all very, very matte. There's not an ounce of shimmer in my eyes or on my lips. I did use a highlight because I just could not stop myself, you guys know. Uh, highlight is definitely an addiction for me at least, so I couldn't help it. And I had to apply it, um, but the eyes and the lips are completely matte, warm shades, the lips are a little bit cooler, a little bit more grungy, a little more hardcore. So I hope that you guys like this look. Please don't forget to give me some suggestions down below of some looks that you want to see, maybe some products that I should try, and I hope that you like this look, and if you want to see how I achieved it, then just continue watching this video. So I'm going to start with the eyes first because there is going to be a lot of fallout with this specific palette, and for the eyes I'm going to be using the Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. I do really, really love this palette. I find that it is amazing. Um, I love the color selection and the pigmentation, but the, the eyeshadows are quite powdery. So for that reason, I'm doing my foundation afterwards. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to uh, prime my eyelids. So I'm going to be using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, and I'm just going to be spreading that all over my lid. set that with the color Big Baby from the palette. It's just like a matte neutral type of shade. And the look that I'm actually going for today is a more grungy fall time 90s type of look. I did this look yesterday and I really like the way that it looked on especially on me with my my like hazel eyes. So I'm going to start off by really like loosely blending the color Natural Peaches in my crease. So I'm using a fluffy blending brush for this. And I'm just going to be doing windshield wiper motions back and forth, not thinking about it too, too much. Just throwing that in kind of as a transition shade. And because I'm doing a grungier look, I am going to bring it more deeply into the inner corner of my eye. Normally I try to avoid that, but I like it with this type of look, so that's what I'm doing. And I am being fairly messy with this, but that's okay because I'm going to go back in afterwards with like a Q-tip and some oil and I'm just going to clean everything up before I apply my foundation and stuff. So I'm going to take something more like a MAC 217 brush next, and I'm going to just take, um, I'm just going to kind of take it and I'm going to place it in the outer corner of the eye. So. What I'm doing is I'm just placing that in the outer corner and then I'm bringing it as well. I'm bringing it all the way onto my lid. Oh, and I forgot to mention the color that I'm using for this is the color Dogman. So it's just a matte, really, really warm brown shade. really easy look because you don't have to be careful you just can go for it and just keep blending and blending the whole idea is that you just want it to look extremely blown out and kind of messy so you don't have to worry much about <laughs> things being precise and I forgot to mention I haven't added any more product on my fluffy brush I'm just kind of blending out the edges with whatever is left over on the brush but I'm just going to kind of like look a little bit more from a distance and see that it looks even and that there's just as much color. I'm going to add a little bit more on this side. All right, now going back on that same 221 brush, I guess, from MAC, a more precise blend or any more precise blending brush you have, I'm taking the color Sippy Sippy and I'm just placing that only in the outer corner of the eye, so only in the outer V. said I do really love this palette but I have to say especially using it now like it's so powdery there's so much fallout so much powder but the colors are gorgeous 
Like, look how much fallout I have. It's something else, I'm telling you, something else. But I'm gonna clean it up, so it's all good. Okay, so now I'm just using a little bit of Cleanse Off Oil by MAC. You can use whatever oil you want or just a wipe. And I'm just cleaning that-ish up. So, cleaning up all the fallout and kind of making a sharper edge here. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna leave that the way it is and I'm actually gonna continue on to doing my complexions and they're not gonna be that much fallout anymore. Uh, this is a little bit messy here and it's not that well blended, but I am gonna fix that after. Um, I'm just giving it a break because my skin still has some of this like oil on it, so it's gonna disturb it. So I'm just gonna kind of rub that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin my complexion. So I'm gonna go straight in with uh, foundation. I haven't really found a primer that I absolutely love. I've tried many, many things. Uh, nothing calls out to me, nothing that's worth me spending the money on using a primer. I know that it's important, but I just haven't found anything that's worth it to me. So I'm just going to go for now straight in with my foundation and the foundation that I've absolutely been loving lately and that I think might be my favorite foundation of all time is the, Mil the Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation. I have here the colors 04 medium beige and 06 sand beige. I really, really like this foundation. So what I do is I put one pump of each. Um, keep in mind that it is going to look much darker than my skin, but don't be alarmed. That's because my face is really pale compared to the rest of my body, uh, simply because I don't tan my face because I don't want to get worse wrinkles than I already have. So it might look a little strange at first, but you're gonna see at the end, it's all gonna blend together really, really well. So I'm just putting that, like spots of that on my face like this, and I'm gonna start blending that out with the Beauty Blender sponge. my current favorite concealer which is the LA Pro Conceal the LA Girl Pro Conceal high definition concealer and the color that I use is creamy beige so I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow on my chin and a little bit on my forehead as well and then once again I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender sponge Okay, next up I'm going to grab just a little bit of this MAC Prep and Prime Highlighting Paint Pen Paint in the color Radiant Rose. And I'm just going to just put a touch here just because I want to highlight a little bit more. What is my dog doing? And now I'm just blending that out. Now I'm going to grab my Maybelline Fit Me uh, powder in the color 225 and I'm just going to kind of dab that here on my face. This powder reminds me kind of of uh, a drugstore version of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's not mineral but it gives like the same effect to the skin. Uh, now using another one of my current favorites. It's almost done, but thank goodness I ordered a new one This is the wet n wild mega glow contouring palette, and this is in the color What color is this? Dulce de leche. It's like I guess it's the lighter shade. Look how much I have. I have like nothing left So I'm gonna use the contouring shade just on an angled brush And I'm gonna just pat that in tap off the excess and I'm gonna begin contouring underneath my cheekbones with this I don't put much because it is cool toned and for people that have this, the same skin complexion as me, I have a more of like an olive undertone in my skin. I'm definitely like an NC or a C. These kinds of really, really cool toned ashy colors can make you look really dirty. So I just put a touch on the brush just to really carve it out and I never bring it too, too close to my mouth. So now I'm going to apply bronzer and I'm going to be using my all-time favorite bronzer which is the MAC 
bronzing powder in the color refined golden I just can't get away from this one so if you guys have any suggestions for really really great bronzers that are similar to this one that are not Mac please let me know I'm trying to get away from using Mac as much as I can so please let me know if you guys have any suggestions for me um, and also maybe something not too too pricey because I definitely use bronzer almost on a daily basis so anyways I'm gonna be taking that on a Mac 135 brush but I, I have heard that Morphe has an alternative to this brush. And I'm just gonna be kind of blending out that contour with the bronzer, just to warm it up a little bit and to bronze up my face. This is the perfect bronzing brush, by the way. So if you guys can find that Morphe alternative, I would highly suggest it. Um, I'm gonna take that up into my temples as well. And this is why I do my eyebrows last, because if I do my eyebrows before doing my, my bronzer on my forehead, I end up screwing them all up. <laughs> then I'm going to put a little bit here on the sides of my nose, just so my nose isn't invisible on my face. A little bit right over here on my chin, and under my neck as well, and under my jaw. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my powder brush that I had before. I'm not going to add more powder, but whatever was left over, I'm just going to blend out these edges here so that my contour doesn't look too harsh next to my mouth. So now as a highlight, I'm going to be using this NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. And the only color, I've tried the other colors in this palette, but I don't really like them. The only color that I use is this one here and you guys can see that it already has a dent in it i use it all the time i have to say it's probably one of my favorite highlighters it just sucks that i have to buy a whole palette just to get that one color but it's so so good and you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about in one single moment <laughs> so i'm applying that with the anastasia brush and i'm just putting that right on the tops of my cheekbones here not bringing it too close to my nose and not too close to my temple Oh, so beautiful. I'm going to bring down a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I haven't added much onto my brush. Don't want that to be too intense. A little bit on my cupid bow and some on my chin. I actually avoid my forehead now because I do have wrinkles on my forehead, so I don't want to accentuate my wrinkles. So now grabbing some blush, the one I'm going to be using today is NARS Lovejoy. I'm taking that on a Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to be applying that kind of between my bronzer and my highlight. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm going to be going back to my eyes and I'm going to be taking the lighter color over here in my contour palette from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to add that into the inner corner of my eye. I'm using this one because it is matte, so I'm trying to avoid using shimmer in this look. And that's going to open up the eye a little bit, even though we're doing a smoky eye today. So I'm actually going to skip out on eyeliner because this is a 90s look. Normally, I personally would use put a winged liner with something like this because I love winged eyeliner. I find it puts the look together. But because this is a 90s look and it's supposed to be like messy and smudgy, I don't want to use anything or put anything that's too, that's too like sharp and cut. So I'm going to be skipping eyeliner today. So what the mascara that I'm going to be using is the Benefit Roller Lash. And I'm just using this to add a coat of mascara to my lashes. And now I will be applying some falsies. And the falsies I'm going to be applying are the Kiss Number no. 11s. I like them because they have it almost an invisible band. So it's good if you're not wearing any eyeliner. So now that those are on, I'm going to focus, I'm going to let them dry and I'm going to focus on my lower lash line. And as I'm doing this, I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to let it get messy. That's what the 90s look is all about. So on kind of like a flat shader brush, I'm just dipping the tip of my brush into the color Sippy Sippy, um, which is the color that I put here on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my lash line but I'm going to apply it all along like all the way to the inner corner and I'm just kind of like pressing that in because I don't want to have fallout since I've already done my foundation and my concealer um, so I'm just pressing it in without rubbing too much all right and now grabbing the 217 brush that I use to kind of blend in my whole eye I'm just wiping off the excess on a paper towel here 
and um, I wouldn't normally suggest to do this, but I am doing it because it's I want it to look fairly messy. I'm grabbing the color Dogman, which is that warm like reddish shade over here, and I am mixing it with the color Natural Peaches. Those are the colors that I used on my eyes. I'm kind of mixing those two together, tapping off the excess, and I'm just gonna blend that color out. Again, not thinking too much about it, letting it get messy, as messy as I want. Now I'm going to add a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, and I'm just gonna add a coat to my upper lashes as well. For my lips, I'm gonna be using the Lip Pencil by MAC in the color Stone, and I'm just gonna be lining my lips with that. Now I'm gonna be grabbing the Kat Von D liquid lip in the color Bow and Arrow. So this is the finished look. I hope that you like it and if you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!